Okay, I'll start with the outside in the back. As you can tell, the uh, downspout is not even connected. Then we have this water pipe that's just cut off, which needs to be totally cut off and uh, removed. It goes to a spigot all the way in the backyard, but uh, there is no water connected to it. Um, moving to the back patio. I don't understand this part, but it needs to be dealt with. Up on top, where there is flushing, if you can tell, the piece is missing, so uh, that's the way for the water to get in the house. Outside of the house, some pieces sticking out, which I'm not even sure what that is. I don't think it does anything. The railing is moving, it's not connected on either side, at the bottom or at the top. As you walk in the house, the uh, two of the windows, which were supposed to be operatable, they don't, and they're old. And I would replace these. As you can tell, they're in awful condition, both of them. This one and this one. Paint on the receptacle. As I go in the dining room, there is a hole in the wall. The counter is installed very crooked, as you can tell. There is a big gap. Not sure if you can do anything about it, but that's what it is. Um, also needs caulking along the backsplash. It's present, but uh, not in all the places. It needs to be redone. Uh, handle is not even connected to the kitchen drawer, as you can tell. Uh, dishwasher would not close because it's hitting the cabinet. So it needs to be adjusted. I'm not sure how because I but it needs to be adjusted. Light switches are part of the light switch is hidden by the refrigerator. This is useless, needs to be removed and patched up. Same with this. The paint job. Somebody needs to come in and actually walk the whole house and do all the touch-ups. Because this is not the way to leave a finished product. gonna go into the bedroom the first bedroom on the right both closets have no way of hanging clothes at least to have a bar installed and get rid of this hole same for the second one there is nothing here whatsoever to hang the clothes on The smoke detector is just hanging. 
paint in the bathroom I'm not sure why the toilet is so close to the shower and there is a big gap between the toilet and the cabinet I don't know if it could be adjusted or not I don't think so but it should have been somewhere in the center The light switch in the bathroom is crooked. Going to the second bedroom, no wall plate on the light switch and it's upside down. As you can tell, down is up, up and down. Um, window, to ha window has screws in them. I'm not sure what it's for, but I've never seen anything like this. I'm not sure why you would put screws in the window itself, in the window frame. Same thing in the closet, needs a bar. I'm not sure why the light switch is cut into the frame. Usually you would put it off to the side and not have this cut out. Moving up to the second floor. Not sure what these are. First bedroom on the right, wall plate is flush with the frame, which should be to the side and the wall plate should not be just cut up like that. Old window, I would replace it, wouldn't leave it like that. This bedroom looks okay, but the same thing with the light switch. The wall plate is cut up, should be off to the side and not cut up. Another bedroom, I'm not sure what that is four but there is a spot on the ceiling closet there is no light switch just a hole also would replace an old window looks awful paint job bathroom on the second floor would need some kind of a door stopper on the hinges because otherwise it's just gonna hit the door frame right there uh, I would have some kind of a threshold between the carpet and the tile um, the main issue here in the bathroom is there is no shower so you have three bedrooms upstairs and people cannot even take a shower in the morning. So this is a big issue and in my opinion needs, the wall needs to be opened up and the shower installed. I'm not sure why this tile is installed like this but whatever. It needs to be better caulked around the bathtub. Also paint job.
light switch is a little crooked as well. Walking down the basement. Some smoke detectors, I don't know, it's just one or maybe more, are beeping and they need a new battery. Again, light switch to the basement, cut up, and needs wall needs painting. Oh, one thing in the bedroom that I missed before in the video is there is a patch in the ceiling. So going down the basement, also patches on the wall as far as paint goes. This needs to be addressed. There are holes in the walls which I would definitely take care of if they're not needed. Uh, lots of different little things in the ceiling hanging that are useless. I would just throw them away. Wires hanging. Some kind of hooks like this that nobody needs. Uh, this. this just just hanging garbage there is another one there is more I'm going upstairs again another thing this thing right here I think that's not connected to anything it needs to be thrown away. So is this. Just useless. I think that's about it. Um, but it needs a thorough walkthrough. Uh, the thresholds are not painted and you can see little holes for the nails. I'm not sure what this, this is the kitchen, I'm not sure what this nail is doing here. Grout. So that's about it. Um, all these little items need to be addressed. Paint, chips, 